you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a, another workout that you can do at home or in the gym. This is all about the biceps and the triceps. I wanted to spruce it up a little bit because we all know when it comes to working out, repetition gets so super boring and it just makes you kind of just not want to do the workout. I feel it. Everybody feels it. Trust me, I'm with you, girl. So what I wanted to do was kind of combine different movements and exercises as well as kind of put my spin on a few things. It's not the most drastic thing, but you guys will realize every little change you make makes the biggest difference in your workout. Trust me. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. But first, if you already subscribed, please subscribe down below for new videos weekly as well as find me on Instagram at Hunter Chill In, two R's, two N's. And now let's get into this workout. Here's the workout on the screen. Go ahead and take a screenshot if you plan on trying this out for yourself as well as check the description bar below. For the warm up, I decided to do three sets of 10 reps, inverted rows, supersetted with closed grip incline push up. So I'm holding at shoulder width level, really squeezing and concentrating on pulling myself up with my biceps and then going into the incline tricep push ups. As you can see here, that bar is falling right at mid chest level. If you're doing these at home, you can just do them off a table and underneath the table for the rows. Now getting into the actual workout, these are one and a half bicep curls. So you're going to come all the way up and then go down, stop at the halfway point where you're at a 90 degree angle, come back up and then go back down to full extension and that is going to be one rep. Next are these Superman tricep kickbacks, which I kind of made up because they're different from a standard tricep kickback because the dumbbell, half of it is falling behind your legs and it's more of a pulsing motion. You're not going to start with the dumbbells on the side like you would a standard tricep kickback. You're keeping them more so behind you and that little pulsing motion puts an absolute emphasis and burn on your triceps. Going into the third exercise is going to be these wide grip to close grip bicep curls. So as you see, I am doing a wide grip, putting them together, going down, doing a close grip curl, and then going back out into the wide grip to finish off the wide grip exercise. So that way, both exercises are getting a full range of motion in one rep. And make sure when you guys are picking the weight for these, whether you're using dumbbells you already have at home, but if you are in a gym, I really like to challenge myself by picking a decently heavy weight. And then I just keep a lighter dumbbells next to me so that if I do need to drop the weight, I will, but I always wanna challenge myself first. Next are these standing tricep push downs. The more you lean over, the more it's gonna work your triceps. The more you stand up, it's going to work your biceps. So I like to stay at a happy medium. And I was doing this to mimic a tricep push down on a cable machine. And I really like to rotate my forearms outward where my wrists are facing the ceiling because that is where you're going to get the most interaction and contraction in your tricep. Now this next exercise is going to be hammer curls to a reverse grip curl up and then back down to a hammer curl. Just like those wide to close grip curls, it's the same thing where you're wanting to finish both motions in each rep by going and rotating them as you come up and down. And just make sure that you're going a little bit lighter on these because that reverse grip curl can be quite hard on your um, wrists, especially if you have weak wrists or if you're not used to lifting heavy. So I went down to 10 pound dumbbells for that exercise, just FYI. Last exercise is going to be the single dumbbell skull crusher. You can do these with two dumbbells, but I like to do it with one. I just feel it way more when I do it with just one dumbbell and it's easier to balance and keep even. So you wanna make sure the space between your shoulder and your elbow is stationary and you're going to go ahead and keep that locked up to the top and then bend it down towards your forehead. And getting into the burnout because if you guys know me and my workouts, you always gotta do a burnout at the end. You gotta exhaust those muscles completely. Get every last bit of energy out that you got. So I took a resistance band and just did as many reps as I possibly could for 30 seconds with bicep curls and single arm tricep kickbacks. And wow, I 
definitely had a little bit of energy left, but my arms were dead after this. If you're doing this at home and you don't have a resistance band, you can go ahead and just do this with the lightest pair of dumbbells that you have for as many reps as possible. Or if those are still too heavy at the end of your workout, then you can just go ahead and do the warm up we did for this exercise and do it as your burnout as well. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.